Hi, this is Mark. Last Wednesday, August 22, 2018, I went to Rizal Park in my hometown, Metro Manila, to do a camera shootout between the Oppo F9 and the Huawei Nova 3i. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you my side-by-side -side comparison of the photos and videos that I took using these cool new smartphone models. But before that, here are the key camera specs of the Oppo F9 and the Huawei Nova 3i. The Oppo F9 features a dual rear camera module made up of a 16 megapixel primary cam with wide f1.8 aperture for good low light performance. The secondary cam is a 2 megapixel shooter which gets depth information which is useful for getting bokeh effect on portrait shots. The F9's 25 megapixel f2.0 front cam is powered by the company's AI Beauty 2.1 software that's made to capture the real you even after removing blemishes on your skin. Like the Oppo F9, the Huawei Nova 3i also has a dual rear camera module, but this one is made up of a 16 megapixel main cam with f2.2 aperture plus a 2 megapixel depth sensor that enables shallow depth of field effect on portraits. Unlike the F9, the Nova 3i actually has two cameras in front. The 24 megapixel main shooter works with a 2 megapixel secondary cam to deliver selfies with fun AR effects and beautiful bokeh. Both Oppo F9 and Huawei Nova 3i are powered by AI imaging technology that automatically figures out many scenes and subjects in front of the camera including food, greenery, people, and even the sky and instantly adjusts the settings to deliver the best image possible. Alright, so enough with the long introduction, let's begin the photo comparison starting with stills taken using the primary rear camera of these very popular mid-range hero handsets. In these photos of the facade of the National Museum of Anthropology, we can clearly see that the Nova 3i photo looks a bit warmer and uh, its shadows and highlights are more prominent. Zooming in, however, we can see that the Oppo F9 shot has more crisp details and has better dynamic range. In these macro shots of flowers and leaves, interestingly enough, the Oppo F9 delivered the warmer photo that leans more towards yellow, while the Nova 3i shot looks cooler as it leans more towards blue. I think each phone's AI software chose these tones to highlight the beauty in the flower, but in terms of clarity, both images are just about the same. The grasses look greener and the overall shot looks brighter in the Huawei Nova 3i outdoor shot. When we zoom in though, again, details appear more defined in the Oppo F9 photo. In this set, you can clearly see the difference in the tone of each photo. The Nova 3i shot has a more pleasing warmth, but the Oppo F9 image is better when we talk about sharpness of details. The Nova 3i gave a higher saturation image of this low-light photo of the Luneta Fountains. In stark contrast, the Oppo F9 delivered a more muted image. When we zoom in, however, the Oppo F9 photo has slightly less noise. From afar, these two photos of the grand gates of the Chinese gardens look almost the same. But zooming in, it is clear that the Oppo F9 captured more crisp details. In these night shots of the National Museum of Natural History facade, the Huawei Nova 3i photo looks noticeably brighter. But looking closer, the Oppo F9 image is clearly sharper. Okay, now let's take a look at selfies taken using the front-facing camera modules of the two phones. I snapped these two selfies at around 5pm so there was still enough ambient light to illuminate the image. Here we can see that the Nova 3i delivered a brighter photo with more aggressive skin clearing effect. On the other hand, the Oppo F9 selfie looks slightly more realistic to me. 
So which one is better? Well, it all depends on your preference really. If you want your skin tone to appear lighter and more brushed up, then I think that the Nova 3i would be better for you. But if you want to capture the real you in your self-portraits, then go for the Oppo F9. These selfies were taken at night using screen flash illumination on both of the phones. As you can see, Huawei Nova 3i delivered a brighter photo, while the Oppo F9 image looks slightly sharper. Both handsets let you add cool, cute, and fun AR stickers to your selfies, so I'd say it's pretty much a tie in this department. One clear edge that the Huawei Nova 3i has though is its AR lens section that lets you add graphic background effects to your selfie videos. Okay, now let's go to the videos taken using the front and back cameras of these handsets. The main camera at the back of both Oppo F9 and Huawei Nova 3i can shoot full HD 1080p 30 frames per second videos. In this side-by-side -side comparison, the Nova 3i clip is brighter but the F9 video has better dynamic range. The area where Oppo F9 truly shines though is in terms of video stabilization which is sadly absent on the Huawei Nova 3i. I mean just look at the difference in terms of shaking or hand movement in the two clips. It's glaring. Alright, now let's do a vlog style front facing camera video comparison. So, hi everyone, this is a sample video taken using both the Oppo F9 Android smartphone and the Huawei Nova 3i. So, check out the differences. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think that the beautification effect is more aggressive on the Huawei smartphone. Surprisingly, more than the Oppo. The Oppo one looks more realistic in a way that you can see my uh, blemishes, the blemishes on my face. But overall, I think that the Huawei video is brighter. So if you want a more realistic video, go for the Oppo F9. But if you want a more cleaned up look, especially for your skin, go for the Huawei smartphone. Huawei Nova 3i. Okay. There you have it. Okay, so hi everyone, this is a sample video taken using both the Oppo F9 Android smartphone and the Huawei Nova 3i. So check out the differences. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that the beautification effect is more aggressive on the Huawei smartphone? Surprisingly more than the Oppo. The Oppo one looks more realistic in a way that you can see my uh, blemishes, the blemishes on my face. But overall, I think that the Huawei video is brighter. So if you want a more realistic video, go for the Oppo F9. But if you want a more cleaned up look, especially for your skin, go for the Huawei smartphone. Huawei Nova 3i. Finally, check out these sample videos taken at night using both handsets. Notice a difference in brightness and stabilization. Oh, and if you're wondering, that's a student choir rehearsing in front of the National Museum of Natural History.
here, it's clear that Oppo F9's wider aperture and better image stabilization allow it to still shoot fairly usable clips even with very little ambient light. Obviously, Oppo F9 is superior in this department. To wrap up, let me summarize the most notable imaging characteristics of these two mid-range camera phones based on my observation. In most scenarios, Huawei Nova 3i tends to deliver photos with high color saturation. As for selfies, the shots often undergo aggressive skin lightening and clearing. And finally, the AR lens section of the camera app is super fun and quite relaxing to use. So what do I like about the Oppo F9 as a camera phone? Well, it performs well in low light, has stellar video stabilization, and captures the real you in selfies even after beautification. Alright, so which camera phone do you prefer? The Oppo F9 or the Huawei Nova 3i? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.